Today, it's all about fairy wrens. We all love the little fairy wrens, don't we? They're my favorite subjects to work with. They got millions of views on my social media and they even made it onto German television. And since you guys are always curious to find out how I make my videos and how I get the birds to feed from my hand, I'm taking you with me today. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Paul. He's the one who actually trained all these wrens, so they're just sitting here next to us. You all ask me, how can you get the birds to come to you and how long does it take? What do you have to do to get the birds so tame? So I thought I'd come to the man who actually did it, ask <laughs> him how you did it, how long did it take, and do you have any advice for the people how they can tame birds that are around them? It took me about three weeks to get the first bird to actually eat off my hand. There they are already. I was, I was throwing the worms on the ground initially um, to get them you know, over that first threshold to take the worm off my hand. That was the hardest. And now some mornings I'll have 30 birds come and feed off my hand. And so did you like do this. like a routine? Did you go to the same space every day or Pretty same much birds? walk or? the same track every day. The birds learn to recognize me. If I go to a different part of the property, they don't recognize me. So what would you advise for people that have birds in their own yard and would like to attract them to come closer to them? Just put out food in a same spot for a while? Definitely and then the same spot. Primarily make sure you're putting out the right food. Yeah. Don't put out food that's going to inconvenience the birds, something oh, that's, exactly. that's they're not going to be healthy. So look into that. Make sure that they have the safety of a place to retreat to. But look at that. Just a bit of encouragement. So the more custom there to people already, obviously the easier it is to get them to come to your hand because it's a bit fixed step for the bird to actually jump on your hand obviously so it takes a lot of trust honestly on the that, birds that was the very hardest thing to, to break that threshold so they sit this close to you but then coming onto your hand even now is still kind look, of a little that's a fit. challenge for them yeah look what i'm doing i'm making it very easy for her yeah and she can grab it and run away without yeah. too much putting too much at stake if you just give them a nice offering they will so take he likes it. paul better than me uh, there mm. you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's alright. No, Guys, no, that's it's a, such a fantastic way to share our love of wildlife with people and this man is, is a master at it. So we appreciate your work here. No, and no, I appreciate your work because <laughs> so, obviously these rents have been very popular with everyone. So it's been yeah. a great experience for me. I think we're just going to go ahead and Look for see the rents a bit more. I hope this helped you to get a little bit of insight into how you might be able to do the same. So be persistent put food out, stay around the birds or go to places where the birds are already accustomed to people. Yes. And then, yeah, just persist, really. I think yeah. eventually it will happen. Yeah. It Here with you, it happened quite quickly. I don't know, you must be the wren whisperer. <laughs> but with other birds, it might take a little bit longer. But if you're persistent and you put in the time and feed the birds some real treats, but that are also healthy for them, not just bread or something, yeah. it yeah. will work eventually. You will get some really cool footage. That beautiful, yeah, it's so nice. That little girl on your left will probably I'll give her some. Like we says, that's not mince, that's <laughs> the best way to transport mealworms. <laughs> you can see, even here, when the birds are used to people, they still sometimes scared to come onto your hands. If I throw that there, she will grab it right away, and off she goes. Didn't even take it. Beautiful. <laughs> it's such a fun way to interact with the birds, coming them, having them come so close, feed from your hand, and you get some cool footage.
great day for us just being out and about feeding your little rents having them come to us creating some really nice videos for you you can still hear the rents in the background yeah it's just such a great way to connect with nature isn't it it's just totally yeah and for me the most fantastic thing about doing this is to see the enjoyment on people's faces out of the ordinary suddenly there's this exciting thing that someone sees they weren't expecting it that, that's what makes people's day but more importantly when you get people in that position yeah. you can start getting people to think about the, the serious conservation issues that we all we all face a lot of people would just walk past here they would never even realize there's a wren here or anything yeah. so if you're out in the bush looking for the big things you're going to miss all the little things but if you look for the little things you're going to see everything and get a much better picture yeah, and i think people everything. just become aware of nature and they have this little tiny bird that weighs nothing on their hands and they're yeah. just amazed by it and then they think oh it's probably worth protecting and that's um, fantastic check out Paul's Instagram in the description subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up let us know in the comments what you thought of this if you would love to come to a place like this have little beautiful fair ends feed from your hands and we we'll see you in the next video bye fantastic bye guys